on me Everybody ain't ready, but somebody gotta leave the sheet Let me say, I'm not the biggest Murder Mook fan in the new era. You know what I mean? Um, he kind of introduced me to battle rap way back in the days with him and um, his battles with like Jay Mills and Lux and shit, you know, Young Hot and all that. Um, but I felt like in this new era, he he never really translated. You know what I mean? Like, I never felt like he uh, ever hit that point again. Like, the Iron Solomon battle was uh, boring as fuck. You know, they say he won 4 Oh shit. I kind of slept through this last two rounds. You know what I mean? Um, and I felt like Verb beat him. I felt like it was a closer battle, but I felt like Verb beat him because he had quick and concise rounds, and he did what Verb do, where halfway through most of mook rounds he could kind of lose you man it gets long and drawn out like a like a good movie that's a little too long you ever notice sometimes a movie might be 20 or 30 minutes too long and you kind of get to looking at your watch like damn this shit ain't over yet that's how mook always used to come across you know what i mean i said that to say like i didn't think he was gonna beat tay rock you know what i mean i didn't think it was a, a way where um, he could really beat Rock. I, I, I've never been a big Rock fan either, keeping it real. You know, I know he's supposed to be the face of URL, but I always felt like he had a lot of gas to him. He's overrated. He's a pretty good battle rapper, but never one of my favorites. If you get what I'm saying? Like, like I can understand why, you know, he's consistent or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? He, he has his moments as a battle rapper, but I, he's never been one of my favorites. I never thought he was one of them niggas. But I did think... He was going to be able to um, take down Mook because of some of the, you know, the narratives put out there. You know what I mean? And it kind of made sense, especially coming after the Daylight Battle, because Rock was pretty goddamn good in the Daylight Battle. Like, he got smoked in that, too, but he was pretty fucking good in that Daylight Battle. You know what I mean? So, with that being said... um. I did think Tay Rock would kind of edge him out, you know what I mean? But I thought it would be a good, good battle, good back and forth battle. Battle actually happens, and uh, Mook says, fuck with y'all, thank, nigga. Like, I'm not stupid. I know how to, you know, conform to the, the new age, and again, I'm a motherfucking writer, so I'm going to do that shit. And he did that shit from the gate. Like, I don't understand how anybody can give Rock the first round. Like, I don't see, like, I don't see how you can do that. Like, if you understand bars, if you understand bars, like, motherfuckers say he not bad. Now, I understand. I do, I, I will say that Tay Rock got a better delivery. He's, you know, he's used to battle rapping. He does it often, and his delivery as a battle rapper is pretty good. But he don't really be saying too much. That's just keeping it real. Like, all that gun bar shit, gun bar after gun bar shit. I mean, you're going to lose me with that shit. I'm sorry. Um, every round, Rock was talking to that nigga so. Like, he, whether these personals are real or fake, totally conjured up, he's painting these pictures like, nigga, this is who you are. This is why niggas should respect you. Nigga, this is how you really get down. You know what I mean? He's coming directly at Tay Rock. Where Tay Rock got little moments where he's going directly at Mook, but um, none of them really hit because they're not built upon. There's no scheming along with it. The punchlines aren't there along with it, and it, I don't know. It's like he structured his bars to where everything intertwined. It was a setup. It was a scheme, and there was a punch. Now, if you can't hear that, that's fine. And then he had, you know, cooler one-liners here and there throughout the whole battle. And all I'm saying is, like, there's no... Like, I, on first watch, right, the first time I saw the battle, I felt like Mook was killing this nigga. Like, for real. Like, in the second round, I did... I did feel like, okay, maybe the second round is a little debatable. On second watch, Tay Rock got 3 0 and the thing about it, like, motherfuckers is painting this picture. Like, I don't understand it. Like, like I'm watching um, um, Vada Fly channel, right? And um, 
Shout out Butterfly, man. I, I've been listening to your shit for a, a while, probably a few years. You know what I mean? Um, but they're painting this narrative. Uh, let's, let me stop saying that. that. Maybe that's the wrong choice of word. You know what I'm saying? Um, they trying to give Rock this money. Let me, Showtime SP. The nobody who don't know shit about battle rap is talking about he gave Rock the first. In what way? Like, you can't... It, like. There is no, like, okay, it's opinionated. It's opinionated. That's cool. At what point does does your opinion not matter then? You understand what I'm saying? Like, like if you're going to have an opinion, you're going to have to um, base that opinion on some type of facts, and your opinion don't hold no type of weight. So you could give me that opinion shit, your opinion, your opinion, but if you're going to say, oh, this is my opinion, you're going to have to back that up with some facts, brody. You can't just say, well, um... Spud Webb, the best basketball player I ever lived, that's my opinion. Well, I'm just going to stop listening to your motherfucker opinion altogether, bro. Because you're going to have to show me that in some type of way. You know what I mean? Now, if you make an argument for Kobe Bryant being the best, 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 best basketball player of all time, at least a motherfucker might listen to what you're about to say. You feel what I'm saying? At least a motherfucker. But if you can't see... If you can't see, there's a big difference between Spud Webb and Kobe Bryant. You just can't see. Point blank, period. So, i just bringing this up to say, like, I don't understand what all the fuss is about. I don't understand what the debate is. Um, Mook 3-0'd that man. Like, and... Even if you want to, like, you got to be a good, you got to be a big rock fan. Even if you want, if you really, really want to, you can give that nigga the second. You can give rock the second if you really, like, if you're really trying to reach, like, you really reaching on some dot shit. Like, you might be able to give rock the second. But even that's a motherfucking reach. Like... Maybe it's a generational thing. Maybe y'all motherfuckers can't understand real talk and, um, you know what I mean? Maybe it is. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's a generational thing, but everybody, if, if, if it is a generational thing, I could guarantee you this. Everybody who's motherfucking, you know, a little kid, a teenager, you know what I mean? A young, a young person. You understand what I'm saying? Ten, five, ten years from now, they gonna understand. Damn, Rock got his ass scraped across. Like, I don't remember the last time I seen an ass whooping like that. Like, literally, like I don't remember the last time I seen somebody get out wrapped like that in a battle. Well, maybe it was. Maybe it was Rock last battle because I know Daylight was fucking snapping on Rock. Like that was another one that could have been like a, you know, a gentleman's three zero for man, against Rock, nigga. But I don't know. But that might have been the last time because Mook was wrapping circles around that boy. I don't know. You know what? Don't listen to me. Go watch the battle back. You feel what I'm saying? Um. And see if you agree. Because the, the app's speaking. The app, the motherfucking app is speaking. Fuck that with what they said on the fucking caffeine. The app is speaking. The app's saying 3-0. Oh. 